Welcome back, anime enthusiasts, to another exciting video. Today, we're delving into the shadowy world of anime villains, but not just any villains, we're exploring the top 10 best anime rogue galleries. From cunning masterminds to diabolical organizations, these rogue galleries have left a lasting mark on the world of anime. So grab your popcorn, because we're about to embark on a journey through the dark side of the anime universe. In this video, we'll be celebrating the characters who've kept us on the edge of our seats, rooting for the heroes, and sometimes secretly admiring the villains. From classic classics to recent hits, we've got them all covered. But before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our anime-inspired content. If you're as excited as we are about the world of anime villains, give this video a thumbs up and share your favorite rogue gallery in the comments below. And now, without further ado, let's begin our countdown of the top 10 best anime rogue galleries. Coming in at number 10 with Got Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer predominantly adheres to a narrative structure that frequently introduces formidable adversaries, often described as a monster of the week or more accurately, a monster of the arc. Within this framework, the series unveils a captivating array of villains who are part of a larger malevolent collective known as the Twelve Kazuki, all operating under the enigmatic and malevolent king, Muzan. Muzan takes center stage as the primary antagonist in the series, and his uncanny ability to seamlessly shift identities lends an air of intrigue to his character, making him an exceptionally enigmatic adversary. The Twelve Kazuki, in contrast, consist of powerful demons who faithfully serve under the formidable Muzan. They frequently find themselves embroiled in intense confrontations with Tanjiro and his valiant allies. These encounters are marked by their unpredictability, often transpiring when Tanjiro and his companions are least prepared to face such formidable adversaries, placing them in mortal peril on numerous occasions. Although the Twelve Kazuki and Muzan undoubtedly possess a unique blend of style, terror, and unwavering determination, it can be argued that, aside from Muzan, their appearances are not frequent enough to merit inclusion in the category of exemplary recurring villains. Instead, they serve as the inception of what holds the potential to evolve into an epic and multifaceted rogues gallery of adversaries. Taking our number 9 spot we've got Attack on Titan, the ensemble of antagonists in Attack on Titan is a multifaceted and intriguing one, characterized by characters whose loyalties undergo dynamic shifts as the narrative unfolds. A standout figure within this captivating rogues gallery is none other than Zeke, known by the moniker of the Beast Titan. Zeke makes his initial appearance in the inaugural episode of Season 2, marking the onset of the Wall Rose invasion. As the story progresses, a compelling rivalry takes root between Zeke and Captain Levi, with the Beast Titan proving to be a formidable adversary, the first Titan that truly challenges Levi's skills. Among the Nine Titans and the assorted generic Titans. Exemplified by the one responsible for Eren's mother's tragic demise, one finds a recurring presence in Attack on Titan's cast of villains. These titanic entities continuously weave in and out of the narrative, sometimes acting as formidable foes and, on occasion, surprising allies to our main characters. Though the number of villains in Attack on Titan may not be as extensive as in some other series, it is the depth and intricacy of the plot that truly sets the show apart. As viewers delve into the intricacies of this well-crafted storyline, they are treated to a rich tapestry of character development and moral ambiguity. The ever-shifting allegiances and profound character arcs are certain to captivate fans of grandiose drama. Making Attack on Titan a compelling and satisfying watch. Coming in at special number 8 we've got, Naruto, Naruto's rogues gallery is a nearly impeccable embodiment of the archetypal villain concept. However, it possesses a unique facet that sets it apart from the standard villain lineup, Naruto's innate ability to inspire a change of heart in many of his adversaries through earnest interactions. While this transformation is not always guaranteed, it significantly shrinks the overall size of the franchise's antagonist roster, as Naruto manages to convert several characters from their roles as foes to allies. One standout figure in this eclectic gallery of villains is Orochimaru, who serves as the primary antagonist in both the original Naruto series and the early episodes of Naruto Shippuden. Another noteworthy ensemble of adversaries is the Akatsuki, a recurring group of antagonists with a mission to capture Jinchuriki, individuals like Naruto who host powerful tailed beasts within them. Their overarching purpose adds complexity to their villainy and presents a substantial threat to both Naruto and the Hidden Leaf Village, 
culminating in thrilling interactions and battles with Naruto and his companions. What sets the Naruto franchise apart in its treatment of antagonists is the meticulous manner in which it crafts these characters. Each villain is meticulously developed, with richly detailed backstories, impressive displays of strength, and a deep exploration of their personalities before and during their confrontations with the Leaf Shinobi. This level of character development makes these villains truly unforgettable and occasionally even endears them to the audience, thereby solidifying their positions within the pantheon of iconic antagonists that the Naruto series has consistently produced over the years. Coming in at lucky number 7 we've got, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood captivates its audience with a captivating array of formidable antagonists, primarily embodied by the homunculi, a group intricately intertwined with the concept of the seven deadly sins. Throughout the series, viewers witness the Elric brothers confronting these enigmatic beings, engaging in a relentless struggle against each one, narrowly evading the sheer force of their wrath time and time again. One particular character deserving special mention is Greed, a recurring adversary who subtly evolves into a nuanced anti-hero, blurring the lines between villainy and redemption. Furthermore, the homunculi, as a collective entity, serve as a multifaceted source of both levity and tension within the narrative. Their presence often injects moments of humor and amusement into the plot, offering a respite from the prevailing gravity of their actions. Yet, when the plot necessitates, they seamlessly transition into being formidable and nigh unkillable foes, posing an ever-present challenge for our protagonists. This duality makes the homunculi an exemplary embodiment of a complex and multifarious rogues gallery. In Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, the villains are anything but run-of-the-mill. Each antagonist emerges as a distinct character, brimming with unique personalities and formidable powers. Their relentless pursuit of the Elric brothers, replete with intricate schemes and perpetual disruptions, ensures an unending cycle of conflict and tension, weaving a narrative that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Coming in at number 6 we've got Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, despite being a venerable classic in the world of anime, continues to enjoy legendary status due to its iconic roster of antagonists. The likes of Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, and Bu make their malevolent appearances to disrupt the peace, threaten Earth's existence, and engage in epic battles against the formidable Goku, Gohan, and their loyal comrades. This enduring appeal solidifies Dragon Ball Z's place as a cornerstone of the original battle shonen anime genre. Vegeta and Frieza, in particular, stand as quintessential examples of formidable villains, possessing unwavering ambitions to conquer planets and intricate connections to the backstories of Goku and Gohan. Their indomitable strength, matched only by the might of Goku and Gohan themselves, positions them as exceptionally compelling nemeses to the story's beloved protagonists. It's worth noting that Dragon Ball Z, along with the broader Dragon Ball franchise, played a pioneering role in shaping the landscape of shonen anime. These timeless villains from the series have left an indelible mark on the genre, laying the foundation for the big three and influencing more contemporary shonen productions. With their enduring appeal, these antagonists are destined to remain etched in the memories of anime enthusiasts, ensuring they are never consigned to oblivion. Taking the halfway spot and coming in at number 5 is none other than One Piece. One Piece boasts a captivating array of adversaries that stand out as a distinctive ensemble of characters unlike any other in the realm of anime and manga. These vibrant antagonists consistently put our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, and his resilient crew through a series of trials and tribulations, creating a rich tapestry of challenges and confrontations. Among these multifaceted foes, one villain who has captured the hearts of fans is Don Quixote da Flamingo, the formidable captain of the Don Quixote Pirates. He takes center stage as the primary antagonist during the Dressrosa arc, where he engages in a fierce and unforgettable battle with Luffy. Da Flamingo's eccentric attire and flamboyant personality, coupled with his morally questionable decisions and unparalleled combat skills, have endeared him to fans, making him a beloved and iconic character within the One Piece universe. Yet, the threat doesn't end with Da Flamingo alone. The likes of formidable adversaries such as Big Mom and Kaido prove to be formidable opponents, posing an ever-present danger to Luffy and his intrepid crew. Their immense power and ruthless determination constantly test the limits of the Straw Hat Pirates, adding depth and excitement to the ongoing narrative. Beyond Da Flamingo, Big Mom, and Kaido, One Piece's rogues gallery encompasses an eclectic assortment of evildoers. Characters like Blackbeard, Akino, and Crocodile stand out with their unique, 
quirky traits and idiosyncratic characteristics, leaving a lasting impression on both the audience and the series' protagonists. Each villain, with their distinct quirks and abilities, contributes to the show's enduring appeal and ensures that One Piece remains a captivating and unforgettable journey through a world filled with captivating adversaries. Entering at our number 4 spot we've got, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia draws significant inspiration from the rich history of classic western superhero comics, and as a result, it excels in crafting a truly remarkable and legendary lineup of antagonists. At the forefront of this formidable rogues gallery stands the enigmatic and formidable All for One, whose mystery and antagonism towards the iconic All might elevate the narrative tension to new heights. Meanwhile, Shigaraki's boundless potential as a villain adds an extra layer of complexity to this gripping tale of heroes and their nemeses. What truly makes the antagonist roster of My Hero Academia stand out is the striking parallelism that fans perceive between the timeless rivalries of All for One and All Might. Juxtaposed with the budding rivalry between Shigaraki and the story's protagonist, Deku. This interplay deepens the character dynamics and keeps viewers on the edge of their seats as they witness the evolution of these central conflicts. Furthermore, the series boasts an array of compelling characters who embrace the dark side, such as Dobby, Hero Killer Stain, Toga, and Overhaul, each with their own unique qualities and vast potential for inflicting chaos and destruction. Their presence contributes significantly to the rich tapestry of villains within My Hero Academia. In essence, My Hero Academia stands as a modern exemplar of shonen anime, renowned for its exceptional portrayal of villains, whose enigmatic backstories ultimately unravel to reveal profound connections with the story's protagonists. This intricately woven web of characters and their complex relationships adds a layer of depth and excitement to the narrative, ensuring that the series continues to captivate audiences with its ever-expanding and dynamic rogues gallery. Coming in at top 3 and taking our next spot we've got, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen, the contemporary masterpiece of the shonen genre, stands out for its exceptional collection of villains that have taken the anime and manga world by storm. Despite its relatively recent emergence, this series has managed to craft a villain gallery that not only meets but surpasses the high standards set by its predecessors. With the likes of Geto and Mahito, Jujutsu Kaisen introduces a depth of complexity and an element of pure excitement in the interplay between the protagonists and their adversaries. It's in this intricate dynamic that the true brilliance of Jujutsu Kaisen shines through. However, Season 2 unveiled a captivating addition to the already impressive villain lineup in the form of Toji Fushiguro. His enthralling showdown with Gojo left audiences utterly mesmerized, further expanding the ever-growing roster of captivating characters in this series. Toji Fushiguro's unique abilities and charismatic presence have only added to the already enchanting allure of Jujutsu Kaisen's villains. What sets Jujutsu Kaisen apart as the pinnacle of modern shonen is its unmatched ability to captivate its audience through its remarkable array of villains. These characters are not just your run-of-the-mill antagonists, they are cunning, quirky, intricately intertwined with the story's protagonists. And incredibly resilient. They are a testament to the show's creative genius, making Jujutsu Kaisen the ultimate representation of contemporary shonen with a truly enchanting and unforgettable villain gallery. Taking our number 2 spot we've got, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter boasts an extensive array of unforgettable antagonists, a veritable rogues gallery that challenges our protagonists, Gon and Killua, both in their personal growth and their journey as hunters. Among this rogues gallery, Figures like Illumi Zoldik and Maruam stand out, leaving a lasting impression with their compelling roles as formidable adversaries. However, none quite matches the enigmatic allure and menacing presence of Hisoka, who reigns supreme as the ultimate villain in this captivating narrative. Hisoka's recurrent appearance within the series, commencing with the Hunter examination and extending to the culmination of the adapted manga storyline, cements his status as one of the most disturbing and sinister characters in the entire realm of anime. His aura exudes an uncanny chill, and his actions consistently defy conventional expectations of morality. In juxtaposition to the rest of the villain gallery, Hisoka's uniquely unsettling character design, malevolent intentions, and awe-inspiring combat prowess make him an unrivaled embodiment of villainy. Beyond Hisoka, the collective assembly of antagonists in Hunter x Hunter upholds a level of quality that exceeds even the loftiest of expectations. The character design of these malevolent figures is both visually striking and thematically resonant, contributing to the immersive experience of the series. 
Their nefarious intentions and unwavering pursuit of their goals serve as compelling catalysts for Gon and Killua's continuous growth. The villains' formidable fighting abilities not only keep the audience on the edge of their seats but also drive the two young heroes to repeatedly enhance their own skills to meet the ever-escalating challenges posed by their adversaries. In this way, Hunter x Hunter stands apart as a narrative that weaves the journey of its heroes intricately with the evolution of its villains, resulting in a prime villain gallery that eclipses those of anime featuring seasoned heroes with more battle experience. The series' dynamic interplay between the forces of good and evil is a testament to its enduring popularity and the timeless appeal of its complex characters and their multifaceted development. A few honorable mentions include the likes of Mob Psycho, Seven Deadly Sins, Vinland Saga, and Jojo Bizarre Adventure. And coming in at our number one spot we've got, Bleach. Bleach boasts a remarkable collection of villains, surpassing its peers in the big three shonen animes. These antagonists are not only visually striking and exquisitely designed but also possess intricate and thought-provoking backgrounds that challenge the audience's conventional notions of right and wrong. Take, for example, the Arankar, a faction within the Bleach universe. Characters like Grimjow are so captivating that fans can't help but be drawn to their charisma, even as they engage in wicked deeds. Such complex individuals force viewers to grapple with the blurred lines of morality, an aspect unique to Bleach's storytelling. Then there's the enigmatic Aizen, whose actions shake up the show's protagonists in ways only Bleach can execute. Furthermore, Bleach introduces us to a set of antagonists like the Quincy's, who, while opposing the heroes, raise a poignant question, are they truly wrong for fighting for their deeply held beliefs? This moral ambiguity adds an additional layer of depth to the narrative, engaging viewers in ethical dilemmas. But it's not just their depth and moral complexity that make Bleach's villains stand out. They are formidable fighters who consistently push Ichigo and his comrades to their limits, compelling them to evolve and surpass their own boundaries in their pursuit of power. This intense rivalry is akin to the dynamics between iconic comic book villains like the Joker, serving as a reminder that a truly compelling protagonist is incomplete without an equally compelling antagonist. In summary, Bleach's villains transcend the boundaries of typical shonen anime antagonists, offering a combination of style, depth, and moral complexity that adds layers of intrigue to the narrative. These characters not only drive the plot forward but also push the heroes to their limits, ensuring that Bleach remains an engaging and memorable series for its fans. And there you have it, folks, our top 10 best anime rogue galleries. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane as we explored some of the most iconic and memorable villains in the world of anime. But before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite anime rogue? Let me know in the comments below. These rogue galleries have given us some of the most intense and unforgettable moments in anime history. From cunning masterminds to relentless foes, they've truly left their mark on the medium. So, which one left the biggest impact on you? Share your thoughts below and start a discussion with your fellow anime fans. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more anime-related content. We're constantly exploring the fascinating world of anime, so be sure to stay tuned for our future top 10 lists, reviews, and much more. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the best anime rogue galleries. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, keep watching, keep loving anime, and stay passionate about the incredible stories it brings to life. And as always, stay tuned, stay animated, and stay awesome.